22.5% of the protected ponds still had fire belly toads present, where only about 1.96% of the non-protected ponds still had fire belly toads. So the difference in our sample proportions was 0 0.2054. However, there were some condition violations and we weren't able to conduct a significance test back on problem 77. So we're going to take a different approach. If you read the stem of the problem, they took the 91 pawns and they randomly divided them into two groups to simulate what we had in our samples, a group of 40 and a group of 51 pawns. Now, if protection status has nothing to do with whether fire belly toads are present or not, it shouldn't matter which group the ponds with fire belly toads still left in them get thrown into. Then for each of the 10,000 simulations, they subtracted the two proportions. They saw what was the difference between the proportion of protected ponds with fire belly toads and the proportion of non-protected ponds. When we look at our results here, we see that getting a difference as high as we did, 0 0.2054, only happened, looks like with these 18 samples out of 10,000. So we'll say the graph of our simulation results shows a difference of 0 0.2054 or more is very rare if there is in fact no difference in the population proportions, P sub T equals P sub C. In fact, only 18 of our 10,000 simulations resulted in a difference as or more extreme than what we observed in our samples. This correlates to an approximate p-value of about 0 0.0018. With the p-value this low, we reject the hypothesis that the proportion of fire-bellied toads present in protected ponds is equal to that of non-protected ponds. There is significant evidence that the true proportion of fire belly toads still present in the protected ponds is greater than that of the non-protected ponds. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.